Okay, so um, I met my fiance on Instagram. I just sent him a DM and oh. he plays. So he got traded we to the it. Vegas Golden Knights, which we've never had any professional sports team in Las Vegas. And I knew nothing about hockey. I honestly was like, oh, what a cool sport, whatever, didn't care. And then when I met him and I don't know, it's honestly such a weird story. I think it's so weird that you can meet someone on social media and send them a DM and now I'm marrying him. I just think mm -hmm. it's a weird bizarro story. But yeah, anyway, so I met up with him and we were just inseparable ever since. Yeah. And he's from Sweden. So I always was convinced that men from a different country were nice. Uh. He always wanted to be around me. Every time I left the house, he'd be like, when are you coming back? And I was told Haley, she's so bad at picking guys. I was like, you need a European guy. <laughs> so oh. I started creeping on all of like Will's like hockey friends who they followed. <laughs> and I would click on that person. Then I'd be like, oh, well, who does this person follow? And a long list of like me going down a rabbit hole, stalking people. I found Ola, yes, which is oh no my god, <laughs> and we were like, oh, he's really cute, but we weren't sure he spoke any English because he's <laughs> from Finland, and all his photos were like captioned in Finnish. And she goes, well, he's hot, so I'll send him a message and hope for the best. And then the rest is history. Yeah. Hey, wait, so then you sent him a message. Wanting to DM a man, just do it. Yeah. Well, so wait, so what did you guys say? Did you do the classic smiley face or the yeah, hi? Yeah. Hi. Always just a hi with a smiley face because a lot of people are like, how did you like send a DM? Tell me what you said. I said, it's so simple. You just say hi. If they, they're going to go creep on your profile and if they like what they see, they'll respond. That right, is right, so right, smart. Right, right. Yeah. I would send a whole paragraph and they'd be like, uh, I'm not replying. <laughs> I'm like, if they don't respond, oh well, yeah. on to the next one. Yeah. <laughs> I love this advice. This is, I mean, I have a boyfriend now, thank God. Right. That's great advice. For our Someone's listeners. bound to respond. Yes. Right. yes, for our listeners, if you're thinking about it, just do, just hi. Okay, but face. wait, but <laughs> Emily, so why did you, why did you DM him in the first place? Just because you, you just came across his Instagram. You're like, this guy's attractive. What's up? So it's a, it's kind of a long story, but to make it short, I was with um, my ex-boyfriend at the time and I had literally physically saw him cheating on me I had this like gut feeling that something was going wrong and so I showed up to his house and there was a car with like a cute little bedazzled license plate on there oh. I went pounding on the door and his roommate opened the door and he goes what are you doing here and I like see him back there with the girl and I was like screaming through the door he's a fucking cheater <laughs> and so I was just oh, so my god I, my blood was just like boiling and I was so oh. upset and this is a spoiler I've never said this before I found Will on Bumble I then downloaded Bumble Okay. And I saw that he was on Bumble. And so yeah. I went on to Instagram. I don't like send people messages through Bumble or anything. Yeah. So I went on Instagram, sent him a DM through there. And that's how I Smart. Him. Well, that, so you know, so he, was, he, he was interested in dating since he was yeah. on a dating app. Smart. Right. That makes sense. Smart girl. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, but your ex, so your ex-boyfriend that cheated on you, did you, that so will, did that all happen wait. like the same night? Did you like go home and like, fuck this, I'm getting Bumble and I'm going out? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Okay. Well, I was got Bumble and I was like, you know what? Like, fuck this. I just need to find like someone to entertain me because I would go back to him. That's just my personality type. Like he'd come back and mm -hmm. be like, I'm so sorry. I'll never do it again. Ugh, like that's just who I was. I yeah. And I was in a really dark, low place then. But then I met Will and yeah, so I sent him a DM and I was like, I'm just going to hook up with this guy and he'll entertain me for a while. He ended up being so nice and so sweet. And I'm, I am attracted to guys with longer hair. My ex had longer hair. I do like guys with long hair. So this boy was cute. Will was cute. Yeah. And it just ended up being really great. You I had a it. fling That's in mine, and he had a ring in mine. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice, I Natasha. Nice. Wow. That. <laughs> um, okay, so then, Haley, so then, Haley, you're like, I want to also date a hockey player. Is that I how this goes now? I wanted a businessman. Okay. I really did not want to get A businessman. I really okay. just wanted something a little not in the spotlight, I guess. But well, hockey guys yeah. are gone all the time, too. Like, They're they gone all the time. so much. Yeah. And then like my fiance, he lives overseas. So now I'm in like this relationship where I travel back and forth from the oh. U.S. to Sweden all the time, which I mean, mm -hmm. not exactly what I ever thought I would my life would be. But I, I think he's worth it for me. But mm -hmm. I when my sister was sending me like guys like over Instagram to DM, I was just like, well, I just like <laughs> I never thought it would come of anything. I thought it was just going to be for fun. Like just talk. Yeah. I love I love I attention. Love I love male attention. I loved it at the time. And I was like, oh, just somebody to flirt with. And then I again, love that it you guys happened. can admit this. I oh, yeah. am upset. No, it's I love great. Male attention. <laughs>